What's going on everybody? We got Hot Mess Discipleship Episode 7. Today we're going to talk about my first addiction, porn. Yep, we got to do it. We got to cover it. So now that you've given your life to Christ and um, you've gotten plugged into Body Believers to help support you on your journey, and then we got to talk about getting rid of the old things that hold us down. And uh, porn's a big one. This is something I struggled with for decades. I was about 10 years old, first time I looked at a Playboy. And uh, man, it just started from there. And it just, it lasted, you know, I was addicted to porn for probably 30 years, I imagine. And um, the only way I was able to get past my addiction was through prayer, the power of the Holy Spirit, and the support of my wife. And uh, porn's bad, guys, it's really bad. And the thing is, is nobody's talking about it. Nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to admit they got an issue. You know, they think that uh, they can't, people can't see it or whatever. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's very obvious. But I did a, a couple little Google searches on, uh, you know, some statistics at porn, and I'm reading this off the fhehealth.com website, and um, it's fherehab.com is where this, these stats are coming from. And this was done on uh, January, published January 15, 2023. So these are pretty, pretty current. 12% um, of the internet is porn sites. 90% of children ages 8 to 16 have viewed porn. With the largest consumption of pornography being 12 to 17 year old boys. So, parents, if your kid's got a phone and you ain't checking it, you should be. Because you might think, oh, my little Johnny would never do that. That's exactly what your little Johnny's doing. But Susie Q, she's just so sweet. She would never look at anything like that. Keep telling yourself that. Actually, don't keep telling yourself that. Look at your kid's phones, guys. If you're, if you're not in your kid's phone on a daily, you need to be in there every other day. Because the thing is, is... There's apps out there designed to hide apps for this kind of stuff, right? Snapchat is clandestine by nature with dis disappearing photographs and all that kind of stuff, right? 70% of men ages 18 to 34 visit a porn site in a typical month. One in six women struggle with porn addiction. 25% of search engine requests are for porn. 50% of pastors regularly look, regularly look at porn. 10 to 14 billion spent on porn annually. Every second, 28,258 people view porn. Every minute, $184,500 is spent on pornography. Tell me we don't have a problem. We do. It's a huge problem. It is a huge problem. Now I'm going to switch over to missionfrontiers.org. It's another website. This survey was published November 1st, 2022. Or I'm sorry, 2020. Over 40 million Americans regularly visit porn sites. The average visit lasts 6 minutes and 29 seconds. There are around 42 million porn websites, which totals around 370 million pages. The porn industry's annual review is more than the NFL, NBA, and Major League Baseball combined. It's also more combined revenues than ABC, CBS, and NBC. 40% of families in the United States reported that pornography is a problem in their home. Pornography increases marital infidelity rate by 300%. That's crazy. 11 is the average age that a child is first exposed to porn, and 94%, 94% of children will be exposed to porn by the time they're 14. And see, this is this study is three years older than the one I just read. So we know in the last three years, it's probably increased because porn is right at your fingertips. When I was growing up, you had to go bribe somebody to buy you a sleazy magazine at an easy mark. Right now, you can just a couple keystrokes and boom, you're at whatever you want to see. So it's crazy how it's crazy how accessible it is, and how young kids are starting to watch it now, and how it impacts adults into their into their forties. It's crazy. 
56% of American divorces involve one party having an obsessive interest in pornogra pornographic websites. 70% of Christian youth pastors report that they have had at least one teen come to them for help in, the, in dealing with pornography in the last 12 months. That's crazy, guys. Super crazy. 87% of Christian women have watched porn. So it ain't just it ain't just a male problem. It's a it's an everybody problem. It's a church problem. It's an America problem. It ain't just church. Because it's affecting everybody. There ain't nobody that is excused from this epidemic that's just sweeping our nation, ruining our society. You think that your little porn addiction is not hurting nobody because you do it at, by yourself in the dark, but it's it it's not about what people see you do. It's about what happens to your mind. Like it's it's a mental issue that hasn't been classified as a mental issue yet. Right? It is a it's an addiction that nobody wants to talk about. Look, man, y'all gotta get this stuff out in the open, dude. That's the only way I was able to get past my addiction was being open about it, being honest about it with my wife and, and us working through it together. It's gonna be hard, it's gonna suck. I'm gonna tell you how you know. Men, if you can't unlock your phone, give it to your wife and go to bed and sleep like a baby, there's the issue. Women, same thing. If you can't unlock your phone, give it to your husband and just let him browse and look through all your stuff, whatever, without having to delete a bunch of stuff first, then there's an issue. There's work to be done. Parents, if your kid don't want you going through their phone, mm -mm, nope, can't do that. Can't do that at all. That means they got something to hide. If you don't have nothing to hide, you ain't going to care. Right? And that's the, that's the hard truth. That's the hard truth. <laughs> I'm telling you this because I love you guys, man. I'm telling you this because it's a problem in our church, in America, in our schools, in everything. Porn is a problem, okay? We need to try to get this out in the open and let people understand that, look, it's, 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 porn is not okay. If you struggle with it, it's okay to seek help. You understand what I'm saying? There's a difference. I'm not condoning porn. Porn is not okay. But if you struggle with it, it is okay to stick your hand up and say, hey, man, I need help. I need help. I need help. I need help because I can't do it on my own. There's accountability groups. There's programs. There's all kinds of different things to help you get past this. So we need to do that because if you hear in your mind that it ain't hurting nothing, this is what it actually is. That's the devil in your mind telling you it's okay. It's not okay, guys. It's not okay, girls. It's not okay, parents. It's not okay, kids. All right? Love you guys.